Hey guys, welcome to Maggie Insights. If you ever wanted to create videos but you thought it was too complicated or too expensive, I've got something for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional looking video in Canva for free. And by adding these simple edits, you can elevate your PowerPoint presentation or your motivational videos. And don't worry if you are a beginner, you'll definitely get it and I'll walk you through every step. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by opening Canva. And I am using the pro version, but everything I'm going to show you today, it can be done on the free version. So if you do have the free version, you can still follow along. To start off, we're going to click this plus create sign over here. And we're going to be selecting video landscape. But just before we do, I'm going to show you different options that they have available. Just in case you prefer a mobile device upload. If you scroll over here, you can see other options of sizes. If you prefer mobile device upload, this is what you will click, a 1080 by 920. But I'm going to go back and scroll over. So we're going to click this over here, 1920 by 1080 YouTube landscape. Now it's time for us to add content. You can upload your own content, video clips, or audio. If you have it saved on your folder and you would like to use it, you would click upload. Then you would click upload again. And you would select the file that you would like to use or the files you would like to use. And you would click upload. And they would automatically be saved over here until you're ready to use them. But since I don't have any content and I'm going to show you how to find some in Canva, I'm just going to click cancel. I'm going to be clicking on elements over here on the left tab. Under elements, I'm going to scroll down until I see video, which is over here. And then I'm going to click see all. In Canva, I love the fact that there are so many categories that you can work with. So there's such a wide variety of stock photos and videos that you can use, which makes it great. Since I'm showing you how to create a professional slash motivational video, for my first scene, I think I'm going to do a city time lapse video for my introduction. So I'm going to scroll down to the time lapse section. I'm going to click see all. And scroll down to find one that I think fits what I'm looking for. This one looks good. So I'm going to click this one over here. This one looks perfect. So I'm going to expand it and make it fit the frame. You'll notice that this clip is a bit long. But there are two ways I can trim the clip. One way is by right clicking on the clip. And clicking split page. And you'll automatically notice that it has split. And you would pretty much be deleting the portion that you don't want to use. Like I'll click this and click delete. Or if it's this portion and click delete. And the other way you can trim the clip is by dragging these in. So I'm going to drag it into about three seconds long. Now for our second scene, we're going to click add page. In the search bar, I think I'm going to type something like people working in an office for my next scene. I'm going to click this one over here in my recent. Now, if you are working with the Canva free version and you just want to see the free options, you would filter out the search over here by clicking this icon. You would want to select free. That way, it would just show you only the free options and the free stock clips for Canva. Now, I think I'm going to go with this one over here. I'm going to enlarge it and also trim it to three seconds. All right, for our next scene, we're going to click Add Page. And in the search, I think I'm going to go with people shaking hands or people handshaking. And I think I'm going to go with this one over here. I'm going to expand it, fit it to the frame, and also trim it to three seconds. In our next scene, we're going to click Add Page. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with an animated chart. So in the search bar, I'm going to type animated chart over here. Animated chart. I have it in my recent. So I'm going to click this. And I think I'm going to go with this one over here. I'm going to expand it, fit it to the frame, and also trim it to three seconds. For our next thing, we're going to add a page. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with people writing in notebooks. And I'm going to select this one over here. 
going to expand it and fit it to the frame and also trim it to three seconds. Add a page for our next scene. And this time we'll be looking for some type of floating money or anything that has to do with finance. So I'm gonna type in money over here. And this first stock clip over here is what I'm going to go with. This is perfect. I'm going to expand it, trim it. I think I'm going to do a few more. So for this next scene, we're gonna be looking for someone climbing a ladder. So in this search over here, we're going to type in climbing ladder. I'm gonna click this one over here. And I'm going to click this first animation that pops up. I'm going to enlarge it, fit it to the frame, and trim it to three seconds. Okay, so for our next scene, we're going to click add a page. And I'm going to be searching for an animated brain. I think I'm going to go with this first one over here. Expand it and trim it to three seconds. So for the next one, we're going to click add a page again. And for this one, I want to search for people walking. And I'm going to go with this clip over here. Expand it and trim it to three seconds. As you can see, we are currently at 27 seconds of footage. And I think I'm going to do one last one to complete it. And for this last one, I think I'm going to search for some type of city night view. And I'm going to go with this one over here. Expand it. Fit it to the frame and also trim it to three seconds. So I'm just going to do a quick run through to see how it looks. All right, so we have 30 seconds of footage and now we're going to add a voiceover. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for the voiceovers on this left tab over here, you're gonna scroll down until you see audio and click on audio over here. Now you can record your voiceover live and you can also generate an AI voice. You can also add soundtracks over here, but for this specific video over here, I will be adding a generated AI voice by clicking this one over here. And this is where you would insert your script that you have for your voiceover. As you can see, these two options with the crown, that means it's only for Canva Pro and you cannot use them if you're working with the free version. But you do have these two to select from, Lisa and Ralph. So now that I have my script, I'm going to paste it into here. And for this specific video, since it's all things free again, I'm going to select Ralph. And I'm also going to click Generate AI Voice. As you can see, the voiceover is a bit longer than my timeline. So I do have room to add two more clips if I want to extend the video to match. And I think I'm going to do just that. So I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to search for just two random clips, maybe some in my recent. So I'll click on this blank screen over here and I'm going to add this one, expand it and fit it to the frame and also trim it to three seconds. I think this last one fits perfectly because it matches the voiceover. Now I'm just gonna move this clip somewhere in the middle, maybe in between here. Now we're gonna add text to our video, mainly for the introduction, just to show you how. So we're gonna click on the left tab over here, this text icon, I'm going to click add a heading. And I'm gonna type all caps, success 101. And I'm going to change the font color to white by clicking this A over here and selecting white. Now I'm going to expand the font. You can do so by dragging it, or you can increase this plus sign over here. And I'm going to look for something more bold by changing the font over here. Scroll down. I think I'm going to do this archival black. Yeah, this looks great. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Also, if you did not name your file, you can do so over here for your font. Let's say you wanted to add effects or animation. For effects, you would click here. And you can go through any of these to see which one works. If you wanted to add animation, you would click on animate over here. And you can select any one of these options. I think I'm gonna leave it on typewriter. 
and X it out. Now, if you wanted to add any transitions, you would click over here, this icon here, and you can look through these to see which one works for your video. You can add them in between all the clips or every other clip. I think I'm just going to do the dissolve on the first clip just to show you. We pretty much completed this video within minutes. And this new skill is great to enhance for your presentation skills. And it's also great if you wanted to create a motivational video as well. Now I'm going to show you how to save your video. You're going to click share. Now you're going to want to click download. And you want to make sure that it's MP4 video. And you're going to click download again. And it will automatically get saved to your downloads folder. And that's how you can access it. Now let's watch the final result of what we created. Success doesn't come overnight. It's built one decision at a time. Every choice you make today shapes the life you'll live tomorrow. In business, challenges aren't obstacles, they're opportunities. Every setback teaches a lesson. Every risk can lead to growth. Stay disciplined. Stay focused. Keep learning. Financial freedom isn't a dream. It's the result of consistent action and smart decisions. Remember, the people who succeed aren't the luckiest. They're the ones who plan, execute, and never quit. And that's it. You just created your very first video in Canva for free without needing any complicated editing software. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any more tutorial like this. Now, drop a comment below and let me know what other Canva video you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, guys, happy creating.